Yeah, so coach, how's um how's fall camp been? It's been good. It's it, it's been good. We got uh, you know we got uh, we got some depth at the defensive line position, and we've been developing some depth depth. And we have a good freshman class that they signed. It's been a, a pleasure to work with. You know, some talented guys that'll that'll be the future here. Absolutely. You talk, know, so it's been a, been very good. Absolutely. And talk about those you know younger guys because you know last week you said you know you mentioned the depth and how strong it is. Talk about those younger guys and who stepped up. Well, you, you know, it, at the defensive end position, you got a couple guys that have really started to stand out in Greg Russo, you know, and Jafari Harvey, who's just a freshman. You know, he was an early enrollee in the spring. And both of those guys have, have continued to improve during camp. You know, and hopefully they'll be able to provide some quality depth for us, pressing forward, you know, in the season. And um, with the loss of Jade Silvera early in uh, early in camp with a foot injury, you know, we've been able to look at a few different guys inside there. The transfer from UCLA is not a young guy, mm -hmm. but a very dynamic player. Jordan Miller is a, as a, a will be a redshirt freshman. Uh, and he looks like uh, his trajectory is, is on the upswing too. He, and we, we're not scared to play him. He'll provide some quality depth for us as well. And we also have, you know, the three true freshmen that are in here mm -hmm. right now. That you know, I, I've never seen a group that good of, of true freshman defensive tackles. They really are dynamic. They all got some personal personality about them, work ethic, and. Uh, and the attributes to play the position. So we'll continue to work with all three of those guys during okay. the season, you know, and, and continue to develop that. How's, um, talk about Trayvon Hill, you know, coming over for, from Virginia Tech. How's he adapting and how's he he's, coming along? He's been great. He really has. He's fitted in well with the team and he's been a, a very good leader. He's been a mentor to the younger kids. And um, his issue right now is, is that he missed the entire summer. You know, so he's, uh, he's he was a step behind from a conditioning standpoint, and now he's kind of closing that gap down. So we should have him on his feet here. You know, by the first game, you know, taking some reps and pressing forward and okay. doing some good things. And talk about you know uh, John Garvin and Scott Patch and how you know they're the veteran guys here. How have they been able to provide that leadership and you know on and off they've, the field? They've both been great. You know, and, and I think that Scott has really emerged as a vocal leader. And I think John uh, Neo has really come on as a as a leader by example. You know his his effort every day in practice, what he did in the off season, and and those type of things have really stood out far and above where he's been in the program. And a lot of those things are attributed to our, our strength program. Okay, right and now, and they, they've done a great job with our strength and conditioning program. Absolutely, they really have. And uh, so last last question: What stood out to you most about the defensive line this past scrimmage? The past scrimmage, you know, I, I just think that we're, we've improved a lot fundamentally from the spring. You know, and in this defense, you know, your, your fundamentals, you know, help you win championships. And uh, I think we continue to trend up, keep things simple the way we have been, and, and work on our fundamentals and keep it simple and get them playing full speed, man. And that's what it's all about. Awesome. Hey, no thank you so much. Coach. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, my friend. You too.